Hey friends, Ash here with Gent Sense. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be giving you some basically first impressions on Mancera's Silver Blue. Now I've worn this a couple of times. Obviously it's unboxed, but I wouldn't say that I've worn it enough to do like a, a full-fledged review. So that's why this one's first impressions. So this fragrance actually came out a couple of years ago. It came out in 2019 and this one slipped by my radar. Now it's not that I keep up with every single release Mancera does. So it's not unusual that something would slip under the radar. Uh, but when I saw this pop up, I was like, hey, that looks cool. What is that? Oh, it's been out for two years. So I went ahead and picked it up and now I wanna give you guys my initial thoughts. So let's jump into it. So I got this one from twistedlily.com. Great website, tons of niche fragrances on there. If you do shop on there, use the code GENTS10, save yourself 10% off, and that's for anything on the website. If I'm honest here, when I shop on the website, I use my own code. I'm not paying full retail. Give me that 10% off. So let me show you guys the presentation really quickly, and then we'll jump into the old fragrance. What do you say? So here's a look at the box. <laughs> Frankly, not a whole lot to see. If you've seen Mancera boxes before, you know what you're getting here with their standard look. It's just plain and you got a little strip right here. You got the name of the house, the name of the fragrance, the size and the concentration. Nothing up at the top, nothing on the sides either. On the back, you have your ingredient information and on the bottom, you got your batch code. That is the weirdest looking batch code ever. Just the way that it's thrown on there, yeah, I've never actually seen that before. And here is the bottle. Just your standard Mancera bottle. Not a ton to see here. Got the name of the fragrance, name of the house, size and concentration right there on the front again, just like on the front of the box. And the sticker looks the exact same as what you're gonna find on the front of the box as well. Now I do like the way the Mancera bottles feel. I like the way they look. They're simplistic, but they're nice. When you see them, you know exactly what you're getting. I also like this blue coloration on the bottle with the silver label. Of course, the name of the fragrance is Silver Blue. I think it looks good. On the bottom, you have your badge code etched into the glass. And this one, the Mancera cap, screws on and off. So some of the newer ones, they're gonna have magnetic caps, which I actually like a little bit more because those newer ones also have a uh, pressurized atomizer. This one has the original, the OG kind. Well, actually not the original original because at some point they made the uh, the atomizer a little bit thicker. It was a, it's a little thicker one now. It's a little bit wider, it's got a little more heft. All right, let me go ahead and waste a couple sprays for you guys. Here we go. really got to figure out a better way to do that. I end up like leaning all the way back and making it seem as if I have no neck, just. And also, of course, I cannot forget on the inside of every Mancera or Montal, you get a pouch. Look at that. It's a pouch, it's got drawstrings. You can put your bottle in there, or I guess you could use it for other things. You can put whatever, you could put like dice down in here. You could put your tester strips. You could put a double A battery down in there. Man, you can do so much with this. Okay, seriously though, you get a pouch. All Mancera's come with that. Now to the fragrance, the most important part. The name, Silver Blue. The bottle, ooh, a deep ocean blue. If you didn't know anything about this fragrance, you would probably think, ah, I bet that is a fresh fragrance from Mancera. Great for the spring, the summer, and the day. Possibly even office safe, my friend. Uh, no, not really, actually. That's not what it is. Now, when you first spray it on, there's a little bit of freshness, but initially it's actually quite spicy. You get a, a solid amount of spice and also sweetness. What's interesting here is bergamot is the top note, the fresh, fruity top note. There's also spices as one of the top notes, but it never really comes across that strongly like bergamot. So it doesn't come across smelling really citrusy. So instead of the fragrance smelling like bergamot in the opening, which is the official fruity, sweet citrus note in the top, it smells like berries, like dark berries that have been kind of smushed together, this unmistakable berry-like, slightly syrupy sweetness melding together with spices. And as the fragrance dries down, you pick up notes like caramel and labdanum. So you get more of an ambery, 
sweet, warm, and spicy scent profile. I gotta say, I really like this one, actually. Especially once it kind of works through the first three or four minutes. Initially, in just the first, you know, five minutes or so when you get hit with that big blast, it, it can be a little bit of a turn off. Some Mancera fragrances are like that. When you spray them on, it's just like, how's it going, bro? <laughs> you know, instead of being like friendly and just saying, hey, how's it going? It just walks up to you and you're like, oh, it's Mancera. I've not seen you for a while. How's it going? And as you put your hand up, they just hit you with the cross right to the nose. And then you're like, oh yeah, Mancera, right? Yeah, I forgot you did that, cool. Cool, man. Once it tones down though, really nice. It does have a, sort of a sweet, spicy, amber woodsy feeling in the dry down. Oak moss is one of the base notes, though it doesn't really come across earthy at any point to me. Also doesn't come across overly uh, green or anything like that. Well, I mean, maybe there are little, little hints, we'll say, little hints of earthiness from oak moss and patchouli, but it, it kind of is swallowed up at least in my initial experiences here by the amber woodsiness and residual uh, sweetness and spices from the open and mid. I am really enjoying this one though. I think that it smells very nice. Uh, maybe I could say that it's done in a, a in a way, a, a typical Mancera style in that it's gonna be very strong. You know, it's gonna project heavily. Some people are going to say that it has a bit of a synthetic nature with the way that the sweetness comes across, but I still find it really appealing and pleasing. The longevity, huge. You know, it seems like this stuff is on 10 plus hours and you're still picking it up, especially if you go heavy. If you go heavy with the spray, man, <laughs> good luck, good luck. Gonna have a raging headache, I bet. I'd say it's a fall, wintertime fragrance, maybe early spring as well. It has a bit too much of a punch, I'd say, for late spring and into summer, because this is at its heart, at least off my skin, a sweet, sweet scent that has that, like I said, typical Mancera. <clears throat> And so if it's really hot outside, you spray this stuff on, it is going to emanate off of you like you would not believe. People are gonna look at you like you have leprosy. They're gonna smell that coming off you and be like, something's wrong with that dude. Stay away from that guy. My body is telling me not to go near him. More specifically, my nose and now my throbbing head. But I think in moderation, this stuff would work fantastically. My wife really liked it also. So for me, this one is going into the good Mancera list. And I'm actually surprised that it's flown under the radar so much. I mean, it's been out two years, so you would think enough people would have been able to check it out. And I think that the scent profile here is your, I don't want to say typical Mancera. I know I kind of alluded to this before, but it's very much in the style of what Mancera would do. Sweet, little hint of freshness, spicy, woodsy, and uh, big time performance. All for a price under $200 for a 120 ml size bottle, or you can get the 60 ml two ounce, and I think it's under $100. Well, it's definitely under 100 if you use that 10% off code. Mm. So yeah, Mancera Silver Blue, just wanted to give you a quick first impression of the fragrance. Really pleased with it, very glad that I got this one in. So there we go, Silver Blue. Let me know in the comments if you've smelled this one and what you think about it if you have. As always, thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for your support, stay safe out there. See you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.